using this tool remove the back cover remove the battery remove this 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 and this bolt before you will do that remove SD card and the SIM card when SD card and SIM card are removed put something underneath of the phone not to get it scratched and start removing those T5 bolts counterclockwise remove all of them this one this one this 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 and this as soon as you remove all six of them you can start splitting the phone apart looks like there is some hidden locks which are located on top there is a, a dimple right here you obviously can see it just use a small flat screwdriver and a little bit unbend it before you will unbend it make sure you remove those two screws they are the same size T5 bit remove both of them and you will be able to disassemble the left corner of this cell as soon as you're done removing those two a little bit smaller size the same T5 location right here and right here you will be able almost to take it apart make sure that you don't do not rip uh, do not rip this cable just be very gently and there is two more locks the plastic locks which are located nearby USB charging port I disconnect this cable but as soon as I was trying to push on those locks it was no luck and then I noticed that there is some sticker which probably have the hidden bolt remove this sticker as soon as you removing this sticker you can see one more hidden bolt just remove just remove this bolt using the T5 bit the symbol is this this T5 bolt which is the same as the body of the phone itself not the small one it's larger like the old six it was located under this sticker remove him as soon as you removed this last bolt which is uh, under the sticker and you disconnected the cable which I mentioned previously you can take the back cover out from your way you can see the logic board of the phone the speaker the digitizer the body of the phone is on those six screws then those two buttons on those short screws and the hidden bolt which is located under the sticker so make sure that you remove him as well before you taking the phone apart and um, the phone actually itself dropped into the water approximately 30 minutes ago that's why it's very important to take it apart and completely clean it and make sure that all water and liquid will evaporate as soon as possible to prevent the build up of the corrosion I'm cleaning everything using the isopropyl based wipes and um, to remove the logic board completely just remove those two T5 screws which are holding the speaker on place 
and you will be able completely to remove the logic board from the lower cover. I was unable to remove the logic board because there is one more hidden screws after those two bolts which are holding the speaker on place was removed. There is one more which is located right here under the sticker which is holding the camera on place. When the sticker was removed there is no bolt. It's actually the this cable which, which you have to disconnect the camera itself from the other side. Using the flat screwdriver all over the edges there is a huge amount of locks which is located right here, right here. I was able to lift up the logic board and as you can see right here the red sticker it means that um, water damage actually occurred on a logic board. Uh, that's why right now it's very very important to make sure that there is no water present. That's why I'm using this as a propyl based wipes to clean the surface all the way around. To make sure that no water is present and no corrosion will build up. So as you can see that there is no water sign on the battery itself. The sticker is white. Doesn't mean that you will have no water damage on the logic board, like it's happened in this case. Completely remove the logic board, disconnect this cable from here, and let's clean everything for sure. Using the propyl, I made sure that I cleaned the whole logic board all the way around. And no corrosion will build up in the future. Right now it will dry, the propyl evaporates pretty fast. And I will assemble everything back on. On this Microsoft Lumia 640. Stand for some time outside. Make sure that the logic board of Microsoft 640 is completely dry. And start assembling everything back. All right, everything is dry, clean. Let's put everything back together. Digitizer, the logic board, connect all cables back. Make sure that you reconnect them. The logic board is reconnected. Reinstall the sticker back. Then it's time to connect digitizer back, those two cables. It will take you some time to connect them back. Just use a flat screwdriver, properly realign them and press on them. As soon as they connected, start assembling phone back. I disconnected it back again because I forgot to reinstall those two screws which is located here and here. Reinstall them. One of them is reinstalled and they different. The six of them is holding the body to the digitizer and those two are separate and this one, one more which you have to reinstall right here. All right, as as soon as you reinstall those two bolts, this is pretty simple. You plug the cables back and then reinstall those two small size T5 to those buttons. It's not actually buttons, it's like a mountings which have to be secured, tightened and tightened. And then those seven bolts all the way around. The, uh, one of them under the sticker. Those two are on place. Here and here. And the last seven remaining, one of them under the sticker. Reinstall the SIM card and SD card 
put the battery and back cover on place. Reinstall the battery. Back cover. When everything back is assembled, power the phone on. Wait until it will boot. Make sure that all buttons and digitizer are fully functional. Camera, speaker, microphone. As you can see, everything works. Rear, front, this was full disassembly and preventing water damage consequences on this Microsoft Lumia 640. Thanks for watching.